Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Just to introduce myself, I am a medium. I'm a no tools reader. So I'm channeling from the moment that I hit record. So if you see that it takes a little bit of time for me to pull the cards, it's because I'm channeling and I use the cards more for confirmation of the messages I've already received. So I have another little announcement. Um, I mentioned I was gonna do this a while ago, but just so that I can introduce it, I am going to be incorporating in my channel, okay, readings that are not as long as my typical readings, okay, short readings based on um, your astrological signs, okay? So today what I'm going to do is just post a reading for each element, okay, just so I can, it's more like a, it is a reading, obviously, but it's going to be like the intro, the introduction before I go full force and do one for every single sign so that you can know what to expect. Okay. My full blown, you know, me, uh, readings that are very long. Okay. Are not going away. <laughs> of course, I'm going to do those all the time, but I feel like this was a really good, I was guided to do this, a good addition. Um, you know, for those that need, a quick message, okay? Because you're going to be a lot shorter and I'll post them more often. And in between, you'll have the longer readings, okay? So I'm going to start with the air signs, okay? Air signs. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, okay? Sun, moon, or rising, or a cross watcher. So let's see what's up. Right away, I'm getting... I'm getting the Six of Cups. I'm getting the Six of Cups. Somebody returning from the past. I'm getting communication. Okay. I'm getting a Tower moment. Sorry, guys. This is going to be for this week. Something's going to hit you out of nowhere. You're going to get communication, but it's actually a Tower moment in a positive way. It's something that you're actually, you have been waiting for. If you've been waiting to hear, if something's been on your mind, you don't know what to expect. You don't know what to think. They're saying that you are going to get the communication that you've been looking for this week. Um, I'm also getting... There is more on overall, and if you're not feeling it now, you will soon. Um, if you've been going through a heavy period, they're showing me the Nine of Swords, which is this anxiety, but in reverse. You coming out of this, okay? This is going to be a mini reading, so I'm just trying to get as much as I can for you. They're asking me to warn you not to get into a five of wands like quarrel kind of situation with somebody when you get this communication because there is going to be something that you learn but it's nothing that's gonna like you're not gonna lose your mind over it it's almost like you're already expecting it if this is resonating with you somehow then you know what i'm talking about then it's for you but they're saying to be mindful of your reactions okay i do see though that this conversation Okay, I see Eight of Wands, Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords. Those are all communication cards. Is going to be, though, what's going to catapult the situation forward. Okay, for you guys. And I do see a positive ending in this situation, actually. This is going to be, as I'm seeing Chariot Movement forward, a new beginning full card. Like you're closing out, you're in the process of closing out a karmic cycle. World card. Okay, judgment. They're showing me the star card too. Let's see what we got. And this is this this is these readings don't have to be romantic, but this is definitely from so, someone you have a soul connection with. Well, already at the bottom of the deck. Okay, already at the bottom of the deck, we're getting, okay, the Knight of Swords, which I channeled very quick, quick, quick communication, and the Four of Wands, which is a happy home marriage in reverse. So this is very quick communication from somebody that you are not currently in a partnership with, okay? Someone that you either had an abrupt ending with, okay, somebody that ran away from the relationship for whatever reason, had some distance, 
but your relationship is upside down okay this marriage is upside down but this person is coming full force with their sword like i said out of nowhere to share a truth with you they find some kind of comfort in you Ooh. no they find some kind of comfort in you okay and i feel like it was right at the moment when you were ready to almost give up on the situation is what i'm hearing i'm not gonna pull it but there's that nine of swords okay This is for this week. Okay, so these readings, since I'm introducing them, are by date. I mean, obviously, if you click it way later and it resonates, okay, then you're meant to hear it. But in particular, it's for this week. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Temperance. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. Huh. Okay. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Look at all those aces, you guys. Oh, I told you. What did I say? What did I say? Devil in reverse. Getting out of... Did you see that splitting? Getting out of these devil energies. So you have been in a situation, a toxic situation with this person or so. There has been some kind of a block in this kind of relationship, okay? The information that's going to be released is in regards to either an addiction or toxic behaviors, third-party situations, anything that is that has kept you this person bound and unable to have a loving relationship. But look at all these loving cards, okay? In the beginning, though, we have somebody that ran away from a connection, Okay? Seven of Pentacles is looking into the past in reverse, but it kind of stagnant. So this person was stagnant, looking at their pentacles, not sure what to do. Okay, there was no commitment or there was a broken commitment over here, ran away. But now this person is coming full force, okay? And I said this is going to end in reconciliation. Because, I mean, look at this. Temperance. Someone's coming out to balance and bring harmony to the situation. Offer a brand new beginning a solid, stable foundation for you guys. Pour out their emotions and tell you about all of the devil energies that have kept you bound. They have been working on it. They're going to offer literally a stable foundation, their emotions, passion. I mean, this is the whole deal right here. The Hierophant is commitment. This could even be marriage. And because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight, meaning if the Knight of Pentacles was like this, it's that... Night that's going to bring commitment to a relationship, but is super slow. But in reverse, we're saying, I don't want to be super slow anymore. I know what I want. I want a passionate new beginning. I want to start a solid foundation with you, part my emotions. And I want this to end in commitment. And I want to work on these double energies, get rid of them. That's beautiful, you guys. Because we went from this, inaction, running away, no commitment, breaking up, separation of some sort to literally reconciliation and just a brand new beginning and no more turtle speed, okay? But it's actually what I'm getting is it's the right thing to do. This is divinely guided. It's not like someone's moving faster and, it, and it's impulsive, okay? This is what's meant to happen. <clears throat> Give me more information about this communication. What did I say? Look what just jumped out here, you guys. And the bottom of the deck, the Hierophant. Tower card. I said, tell me about the communication. You're going to get communication suddenly. It's like you're expecting it, but you're not expecting it. Okay. Next to the Hierophant card again. But in this deck, look at the Hierophant card. It's so different the way they depict it. Somebody in their bed has been avoiding healing, but the priest came like, okay, you need to do your healing. You need to do your work. But this person actually, something happened that rocked their world. Either maybe it was a separation with you. Maybe it was an argument. It was something in their life happened that like basically pushed this person to see their toxic negative behaviors. And maybe they 
were not paying attention to in the past. And they did, because they're coming forward. What's this card next? Oh my goodness, holy confirmation. The Knight of Swords again. The Knight of Swords again. Tower moment. Somebody coming forward to do the right thing and offer something. Some, there's going to be a communication of a commitment of some sort, even if it's just a commitment to work on your relationship or, so, or something like that. And they're going to tell you secrets that you did not know. That this person has been avoiding, not just from telling you, but from themselves. And it's going to come out of nowhere, like a bat out of hell. It's going to surprise you. I'm going to pull three more cards and then an oracle. And then that's it, because these are meant to be short. Five of, of four of cups. Ah, Ace of wands again. Three of Wands in reverse. But at the bottom, I have a star card that I channeled. Okay. You were in a period. I mean, look at the expression. There must have been some kind of an argument. You didn't want to pour out your emotions anymore. There was conflict, okay? You were not being offered what you needed cups are love but look at this picture there's like this creepy hand creeping behind this person like you're not expecting it you're upset there must have been some kind of an argument this person's still coming forward to offer a cup of love to you and it's, it's going to cause you mental chaos it's going to come out of nowhere but this is leading to commitment okay because this person's going to ask you for some kind of commitment even if it's just to set something make something a little bit more solid they want a passionate new beginning with you. They're going to come forward very, very quickly to tell you, okay, three of wands is waiting for your ships to sail. They don't want to wait to do that anymore. Okay. They just want to purify the situation and move faster. Let's pull one more card. What is going to be, I'm going to ask a question first. The outcome that this person desires. No. What is going to be the outcome that this person desires? The Emperor. I just split the deck. And here's that card I channeled also, which for me is not, it, it, that's how I confirm my messages. Somebody wants to come forward and be your emperor, which is the husband, someone state, <coughs> someone actually capable of a stable relationship. Okay. World's card and closing out these cycles that have kept you bound. I said one card, but they want two more. Yeah. Sun card. They're going to come forward and bring clarity to you. Oh my God. And I did channel these cards. And look, here you go. Star card again. Five of Wands. Channel that too. Well, what cycle are we closing? We're closing out a cycle of conflict. Five of Wands. We're closing out a cycle of conflict. The Sun card is the happiest card in the deck. Somebody wants to come and be happy with you. They're bringing, they're illuminating all the things that need to be illuminated because of a conflict. Okay. And this person with the intention of purifying this connection. So that's what you could expect this week. Okay. I'm going to pull Lover's Oracle, and that's it. Secret, oh, I told you. You can't make it up. Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. With that, you guys, that's, that's it for your reading, so expect that. Definitely. Wow. I'm loving it, you guys. Okay, love and light.